Salamat Siang everyone from another beautiful day here in Jakarta, Indonesia. I actually have just spent my morning working and editing some videos and now I'm ready to go out and explore some more of this amazing city. So I'm just going to go get a Gojek and I'm going to head back to Chinatown as I really want to try some of these fire dumplings that I've seen before and also some traditional Indonesian food and some noodle dishes. So let's go. So I've just called Gojek and now I just need to walk down to the main entrance that is where I have to meet him for him to be able to come into this area Okay, so my Gojek is here I've just arrived back here in Glodok in uh, Chinatown in Jakarta and I'm so happy I've come back in the daytime as it was very quiet when I came here at nighttime. all the shops had already closed and it seems that this place is actually much busier in the daytime so that is something to keep note if you are visiting and there are so many more street food stalls and shops if you visit during the day. Ada? Where is it? Uh, Sayadari, Irlandia? Oui, Ir good country. Uh, yeah, good country. It's bread? Uh, this one, Misro from uh, Ah, okay. Wow. So big. <laughs> How are you? Siapa nama kamu? Taras. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So many different shops here selling different types of groceries, clothes. There's a pharmacy. I was actually on this street last night and it was super, super quiet because I got here too late. And it's really cool to be back again and see it quite buzzing. There's people at all the different stores. There's a lot more going on. Say uh, there, Irlandia. 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 Ireland. 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 Bandung and Jogja in Jakarta one week one week yeah. so a lot of these guys are selling Hello, this same thing I love you <laughs> lots of vegetables what is this? super purple I'm not sure what this vegetable is but it's the same color as my t-shirt so I've just come to this tiny little noodle place called Bak B Longcat Elda and I actually saw this noodle place on my friend Luke Martin's Chopstick Travel YouTube channel and it looked pretty amazing, like super local, super authentic but also delicious. He actually came here for breakfast, um, it's now about 2pm now, lunchtime, so I want to come here for these famous noodles. Super cute place, super local. Few chairs, tables, plastic chairs. So they recommend you just up on the up on the wall here. This is the top one that I got back in me. So my back knee babi noodles just arrived. So it is small curly crispy noodles. There's some sort of spinach I think. And then this is babi which is pork noodles. So this is what the noodle dish looks like. Mm. So whatever the noodles are cooked in, there's some sort of nice sesame oil or something. It's really tasty, but I might add a little bit of spicy sauce. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of chili. A little chili is here.
Okay, I've added chili and now I want to see if it's going to be crazy spicy or not. <laughs> My knife is on fire. Mmm, so good. Oh my god, so good. Maybe a tiny bit more. So guys, I absolutely devoured that bowl of noodles. And all the best bit is at the end, you've got all the juices and lots of bits of um, meat, meat, <laughs> pork, baby. Um, yeah, absolutely delicious. It's pretty much the first thing I ate today. And I'm going to eat lots more because it was a famous dumpling place that I also want to try. Should I pay? Yeah, as you guys can see, it is way busier in the daytime. I really, really like it. Lots of different street carts all the way along this street. famous dumpling place it's famous with both locals and international tourists these are the two types of dumplings it's most famous for these first ones are known as fire dumplings because they cook the dumplings in this huge wok and there's a huge fire underneath it and you can watch them making and cooking the dumplings just outside of the store um, so I'm just waiting on Tim and the others to arrive and then we're probably gonna order what they check it out fire dumplings you can see them here they are rolling the dumplings and they were watching my YouTube videos before oh. and now I'm actually able to meet them here in Jakarta which yeah. is amazing We are Anto Claire and Antoine from France okay. and we, we arrived in Jakarta like uh, uh, two days ago after yeah. quarantine and they, you also have YouTube channel yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at this branding look at this branding it's amazing Sauce. Guys, I'm so excited to try these dumplings. Like I said, I've actually seen a lot of people come here. And this is quite a famous place. It's been here since 1968. I'm gonna just eat the whole thing in one go. Mm. Mm -hmm. You actually just can't meet fried, you can't beat fried dumplings. Because they're like crispy at the bottom, but still sort of like soft at the top. It's perfect, it's perfectly done. Oh, I need to try another one. It's so good. <laughs> so good. I'm gonna have ten more. What the hell? I think I need. I haven't to make tried the spicy sauce yet. Oh, I didn't try that spicy sauce. Yeah, this is what they look like, guys. Okay guys, the steamed dumplings have just arrived and I cannot wait to try them. They've given us these small little red bowls of soup and Nella just said, you're saying that he said put the dumpling in the soup, right? So you're turning it into like a little soup dumpling, I guess. I'm cheating, I'm using a spoon. Two years in Korea and I still can't eat soup dumplings with chopsticks. I feel like it's gonna be really hot. Sorry. Yum. Mm. Dip straight in the soy sauce. Delicious. Tim just ordered. What did you order? Pork belly. Yeah, pork belly. Um, definitely give it. It's just a little. It's like a little snack Small size. Small portion. Yeah. Is it good? Pretty good. And I. I think even if someone paid me right now, I could not eat any more food. I am so, so stuffed. I've had so much amazing food today. 
Uh, if you guys are looking for good food, I highly recommend coming down here to uh, Chinatown in Jakarta. Uh, right now, we're just going to walk around the, little sh the shops for a while. There's some things, nice. looks like it's starting to close again. Um, check out all these really cool lanterns. Pretty cool, but I really just need to walk for a while because I need to get my steps in and walk off some of that food. And then hopefully tonight will be... So guys, we're getting one of these uh, auto rickshaw things. So we paid 35,000, which might be too much, but we have no idea what we're supposed to pay. It'd be interesting to see what they pay. Ah, oh, look who it is! Mr. Tim! Mr. Tim! So they have just paid 30,000 for their one, and we already paid 35. <laughs> hey guys, we've just arrived here in Kota Tua, which is the old town area of Jakarta. Um, all the buildings are really beautiful. I guess this is what uh, Jakarta would have looked like once upon a time. Uh, a lot of old beautiful colonial buildings and there's also what looks like quite a cool little night market here. So we're just going to walk around. I think we're going to walk down to Cafe Batavia, which is a very famous cafe. I got a new mask. My other one needed to be thrown away, so new mask. So this is the old town here in Jakarta. It is so beautiful at this time of the day. Look at the sky. So sadly, due to COVID, a lot of these areas are closed. We just found out. So apparently this square is officially closed. This beautiful square behind me. Uh, you can come here, you can go to the cafe, Cafe Batavia. But you can't go into any of these famous buildings. You can't even, apparently you can't even go into this square. So there's a museum here, Museum Wayang, right behind me. Um, but yeah, it's still beautiful to walk around, but I guess a little bit sad that we can't go and check it out. So from what I know, this cafe is housed in one of the oldest buildings here in Jakarta. This is an old colonial building. You can even see the beautiful wooden sh shutters up there. Um, and yeah, this is like the old town, so it's all really beautiful colonial buildings. Especially as it's all closed off, I think we're just gonna walk around for a little bit and then we're gonna head home to bed. 